Hey, uh, Obias checking in here. So I watched the horror flick Azrael, directed by E.L. Katz. And even though there were next to no convos, the post-apocalyptic world's spooky vibe said more than enough. The film leaves a lot up to interpretation though. The only explanation the audience is given for what's going down are within written statements at the start and Bible verses that appear in between tense and gory moments. The movie is set decades after the rapture in a wilderness inhabited by a sketchy religious cult of survivors who believed sins were connected to their speech, so they lived a silent lifestyle to avoid attracting nearby demons with dreadful burns that looked like they just stepped out of hell. In an article from Polygon, the film's director and special effects artist Don Martin confirmed the zombies have a deep backstory and were designed to look like radiation burn victims using real life victims and they refer to them as the burned ones. Real quick, according to YouTube, over 90% of y'all that view don't hit that like or subscribe button and that's just real sad when it's free to do so. Don't be a hater, hit that free like and subscribe button and I'ma keep working hard to bring y'all these videos. All right, let's get back into it. From a biblical perspective, the few survivors at the camp represent the sinners left behind after the rapture scorched the earth, and the burned ones are the unlucky bastards that got caught up in it. Dan Martin stated, they were the corpses of the people who had not survived this extinction event, which had been co-opted by these demonic entities. So basically, people who got flamed during the rapture became reanimated corpses after their bodies were possessed by demonic spirits looking for a host during the rapture. This explains the burned one's bloodthirsty nature and superhuman strength. It's like the human vessel is the vehicle that these aggressive spirits are occupying. They're a raw destructive force and they're piloting this jalopy body that is probably not behaving exactly as they'd like, Martin also said. So the people who got smoked during the rapture gave these spirits a second chance at life, but their charred bodies restricted the demon's movements to a zombie-like pace. They were hella aggressive though and were able to instantly lock in on sounds and the scent of blood. The main character, Azrael's name, translates to angel of God or help from God in Hebrew scriptures. In the Bible, this angel is one of God's divine assistants who helps transport the souls of the dead to their final resting place. The film begins with Azrael escaping the cult that raised her after she was chosen to be sacrificed to the bloodthirsty demons. By the end, after she goes full Rambo to avenge her lover, the Antichrist is born after being conceived in a satanic ritual by the leader of the church who represented the Virgin Mary. I always thought it would look more human, but they designed the newborn to look like a horned goat with many eyes and long fingers. Inspiration behind its design is based off Dick Smith's design of the Nazarene Antichrist from the dream sequences in Jacob's Ladder. With the newborn Antichrist in hand, Azrael has a chance to live up to her name. If she can figure out how to use the child to guide the spirits of the undead, back to their final resting place. The film highlights that the demons were celebrating and welcoming the child's birth by crying back out to it, so they may have been waiting for it for leadership. 
I hope they drop a sequel to this joint though, cause I have so many more unanswered questions, but I hope y'all enjoyed this breakdown. The film had a lot of tense and unexpected gory moments that kept you engaged without a single word being spoken. It gave off a blend of A Quiet Place and Walking Dead vibes, but the creepiest part to me has got to be the fact that the zombies and humans communicated the same way with grunts and screams. I'ma run Azrael three mics. If you made it this far into the video unsubscribed, what's holding you back? It's free for you to support by hitting that like and subscribe button. So give me my props by doing so. I'm only responding to subscriber comments moving forward. So lock in with me. Let me know what you thought about the film, the video, and I'm gonna get up with y'all on the next video, all right? Ha, <laughs> holla at me. You hypnotize observation. Deep down, you don't want to see us make it. Deep down, you'd rather see us in the basement.